Right now, let's also dive deep into the world of carbon capture technology. It is revolutionizing the fight against climate change. And buildings in New York are its latest example. Yes, they are reducing their emissions by trapping carbon dioxide, which is then transported to sites outside Manhattan for processing. According to the City Buildings Department, New York skyscrapers are the largest source of greenhouse gas emissions in the area. They account for about two-thirds of the total. Additionally, New York State's buildings emit more air pollution than any other state. To address this issue, building owners are required to make significant emissions reductions under the Local Law 97. This rule applies to approximately 50,000 structures over half of the buildings in the city. One method building owners are adopting to comply with the law is carbon capture. From the outside, this residential high-rise looks pretty much like any other luxury building. But inside, there is a carbon capture room. It is being used to convert carbon dioxide gases produced in the buildings into liquid form. The ultimate goal is to stop these gases from entering the atmosphere. First, we capture the exhaust coming off of a boiler or a cogeneration system to prevent carbon dioxide from going out a chimney. Second, we separate the carbon dioxide uh, from the other gases. Third, we liquefy that carbon dioxide. And fourth, we transfer and sell that car liquid carbon dioxide, which we call sustainable CO2, to users of that carbon dioxide, like concrete manufacturers. Wondering what happens next to the liquid carbon dioxide? Well, it is solid. It is, in fact, sold to companies like Glenwood Mason Supply Company. The Brooklyn-based manufacturer uses the material in its concrete production.